Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy here to give you 20 tips from an apex predator. You read the title, you would already know that's what's gonna happen. And that's about my intro because intros are boring and you guys are here for tips, not intros. So my first tip is there are six guns in the game that can shoot open doors, which would be a wingman, L-Star, Sentinel, Longbow, Repeater, and Kraber. Although please don't use a Kraber to shoot open a door. If you do that, you're just weird. This could be useful if someone is inside a building trying to heal, and you could shoot open the door to either keep shooting them or you can shoot open the door to throw a nade inside. There's also two guns in the game that can break the door. One being Rampart Sheila and two being a charged rampage. Number two, if you can't take any more items out of Loba's black market, there's actually something you can do to find the item that you're looking for. If you go in the black market, paying what item you want, Close the black market interface, back up far enough away so the item you pinged shows up on your screen, and then hold down your ping button again. If you do that, you'll get a line that will go directly to whatever item you're looking for. Number three, you can use tall buildings or surfaces to cut your glide off early. Doing this will make you free fall, and when you free fall, you actually go down to the ground quicker than the people who are gliding. This is a really good way to beat everyone else to the loot if you feel like you're going to fight right away. Number four, with some legends in the game, once you pull out their abilities, you normally can't put it back away. But if you melee, you can actually cancel the ability that you're using. This will work with everyone in the game except Valkyrie. Number five, if you can, you should always try to reload before using all the ammo in your gun. You will get a reload animation that takes longer in every gun in the game except for the Wingman, P20, and repeater. Getting the longer reload animation has been the reason why I've died many times, so I definitely suggest if you can remember to try to reload before using the last bullet. Number six, you can arc star stick a trident to stop it from moving. I will say though, this is pretty hard to do and it's situational, but if you have an arc star and a trident ever drives close to you, this is pretty much a guaranteed squad wipe. The same thing happens if they run into a Watson fence while driving a trident. Number 7. You can actually use the trident as a makeshift balloon. If you drive the trident off the map, it'll explode and send you flying up in the sky. But you have to make sure you stay in the trident. Don't get out or it'll just kill you. This could be really good in an emergency getaway since shooting a trident is a lot easier than it is to shoot someone that's gliding in the air. Number 8. You can actually put heat shields on tridents as long as nobody is in the car. Just by going to the back of it and throwing it where I'm looking at here. Number 9, in ring 1 and 2 to get the most efficiency out of your medkit, once your health goes 2 ticks under your very last armor bar is when you should start healing. And now ever since season 17, half the lobby is sitting inside the ring anyways, you might as well get the most out of your medkits. Number 10, when you crack the armor of someone you're fighting but you maybe couldn't exactly see who it even was you shot, there's a text pop-up that should be in the top right of your screen. You will still get this pop-up even if your teammates crack someone's armor. This helps tell you who you should focus even if no one is communicating on your team. Number 11. If you're playing in a team who doesn't communicate, you can let them know where your ultimate is at just by opening your inventory and then pinging your My ultimate icon. Not ready yet. This of course also works when your ultimate's ready. My ultimate is at full power. Since ultimates can actually change how a fight's going, it's pretty useful to let your team know when you have it. Number 12. If you have a downed teammate but don't have quick access to an armor swap, but you're not in immediate danger, you should drop your armor to your teammate and take theirs so you only have to use a battery and they only have to use a med kit. This makes resetting from a fight way quicker. Number 13. If you crouch on the sides of the geysers on world's edge and kind of tuck yourself under the rocks that are coming out you can send yourself flying without it being a glide this means you could tap strafe and use your gun i don't think anyone in the game really even knows this exists so this could be a really good surprise strategy because if they don't know it exists then they wouldn't expect it
number 14. With Monument being the new POI to World's Edge, there's also a new rat spot that comes with it. All you have to do is climb the light on the side and then climb the side of the zip line. Nobody really knows about this spot either, so this is a really good surprise attack spot. Number 15. If you are outside of the ring, the safe zone on your mini map or just your actual map will be blinking to let you know that you're not inside. Once you do go inside the safe zone, it'll stop blinking. Sometimes the orange line is harder to see in the smaller zones, but just by looking to see if the ring is blinking or not is a good way to tell if you're in or not. Number 16. When you're taking a gravity cannon at storm point, if you back up as far as you can before it actually sends you flying, and hold back at the same time, so if you're MK it's S, and if your controller's backwards on your analog stick, you can land on the top left or right of the gravity cannon so you slide off instead of getting a movement penalty for hitting the ground. You can also take the gravity cannon going backwards if you just crouch by the little staircase. Not every gravity cannon can do this one. Number 17. If your teammate gets downed, you can actually punch them to make a move faster. This is good to get your down teammate in cover or if they're inside the ring to punch them out of it. Number 18. You can actually throw arc stars and frag grenades under doors and it's pretty simple to do. All you have to do is hold the grenade in your hand so you get the grenade indicator and then look towards the side of the door that has the hinges. There will be a little hole at the bottom of the door that you have to aim at until you see the circle at the end of your indicator disappear. Once that's gone, you can throw your nade through it. The person on the other side of the door actually doesn't even get a nade indicator so they don't realize it's going to hit them until it actually hits them. So that is about all for my 18 tips. These are some that I just personally find useful. If you want more, I could make another video or part two to this. And if there's anything new you learned in here, put it in the comments. That is all from me. Thank you for watching. And I hope any of these help you improve at the game. No, it's not the play, brother. Not the play.